Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says the government must be given more power immediately in order to fight global warming. And if you disagree with that or even hesitate in agreeing with her immediately, then you are unfortunately complicit in murder. So I think what we have laid out here is a very clear moral problem. And in terms of leadership, if we fail to act or even if we delay in acting, we will have blood on our hands. Well, with children, everything is a clear moral problem, as you know. In a recent tweet, meanwhile, Ocasio-Cortez said that global warming, not our open borders, drives our illegal immigration crisis. Melissa Francis has been following all this. She's a co-host, of course, on Outnumbered, and one of our favorite guests. She joins us tonight. So um, global warming is yeah. driving illegal immigration. Well, I mean, Tucker, you have to think about it because it's perfect. Finally, the environmental crisis is causing wars. It's causing bloodshed. This all started during the last administration. It started with Secretary of State John Kerry, the Obama administration, in Syria. And this was their theory. So a whole bunch of scientists piled on top of it because they thought this would be fantastic. It was sent around and around. Finally, a group of scientists, we have their names, from places like the so School of Critical Social Inquiry, the Center for Earth System Research, they dug deep. And they found that it was based on a six-year drought in Syria. Let's go out and measure the rain. They found above-average rainfall. I kid you not. <laughs> they went out and they found a whole bunch of rain. Now, listen to the conclusions they came up with. Unless new evidence emerges, the Syrian case does not prove the multiplier effect. To the contrary, we conclude policymakers and commentators need to use far greater caution when drawing such linkages. I abbreviated. This is the best quote, Tucker. I fear getting the Syrian case right, or at least correcting the flawed dominant narrative, will negatively affect discussions of environmental impacts on the conflict in the policy sphere. No kidding. In other words, we got this right and we're super sad because now you can't say that it's the environment that is causing these wars. Here's the punchline. Oh. I found, because earlier, I know, you thought you heard all the punchlines. Earlier today, someone said to me, oh, this was just one thing you found on the Internet. In fact, it's been corrected everywhere. Even at Harvard, they are teaching what is called climate change in the Syrian civil war, revisited with a little <laughs> tear down your face as you're revisiting it. So this is what AOC is using as her basis for her argument. But surprisingly, she has not read up and found out that this theory that was just used a little while ago by John Kerry and President Obama has been totally debunked. They really should wow. apologize. I've said things that are wrong. I feel bad about yeah. it. You know, you apologize. I thought there were weapons of mass destruction in Baghdad. There weren't. Sorry. You, you know what I mean? Like, you should apologize if you're wrong, but they never well, will. Well, but see, in that case, people wanted to see the evidence. You thought you had the evidence here. There was like a two-page brief at the heart right. of it. And if you looked at it, they hadn't done any science or looked at, like, exactly. water or stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So good. Melissa Apparently, Francis, I best. know. So fun. Love seeing Thank you, Tucker. You. Great to see you.